salutations. Welcome to night number three of the Toronto International Film Fest covered by us, View the Vibe. And tonight we're here viewing the vibe of the Hello Red Carpet. Um, we're just waiting by the red carpet for everybody to start to arrive. Not really sure who we're going to be seeing tonight. Uh, probably Adrian Grenier, uh, maybe some young hip stars that I don't really know about because I'm too old. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll keep you updated with that stuff. Uh, so it should be kicking off, hopefully, in the next 15 minutes. And it's rainy and cold, so hopefully it shan't take much longer. So, yeah, we'll meet you over there. We focus on uh, restaurants, vibes, events. Where do you like in the city? Where do you like to spend time when you're here? I always go to a restaurant called Mount Everest on Bloor. Do you know it? Yes, I do. Yeah, so that's my favorite Indian restaurant. I think it has phenomenal food. That's good to know. To my mom's food. Um, I don't want to upset your mom. Absolutely not. Well, I love sushi, so uh, anywhere where there's... I'm still trying to find the best sushi restaurant here. Yeah, I'm still looking for it. There's been a few restaurants lately that we've been hitting that have been a lot of fun. Grand Electric and La Carnitas. I have two favorite restaurants in the city. One is Origin, yeah. and then the other one is Buka. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I know. Buka, you can't go wrong. I can almost eat the same thing every single night of my life. I'm not a foodie, even remotely. I'm a winey, though. Oh, yay, me too! <laughs> First of all, like, the whole Ossington and Dundas area is my favorite. Yeah, that new Get Well bar with the vintage arcade games, or, like, yours truly makes an amazing whiskey from cocktail. <laughs> Um, but I also love Kensington Market because it's such a like down and dirty kind of village. I love Leslieville. I spend a lot. Ender. Yes, I'm an East Ender. Swirl Wine Bar. Yeah, I've, I've never been, but I've heard it's just so cute. So good. I'm really excited. It's Ed Burns. Such a pleasure to meet. You. Well, no, thank you. Very, very excited. Oh, cool, cool. Thank you. Are you having a good time? Uh, I've been here for two days. And I'm having a great time. A lot of festivals you go to, you don't get a sense that the people in the city are aware that a festival is going on here, you know, I mean, I'm stopped on the street, people want to take your picture, want to talk to you about your film. So I can only imagine, I'm getting that, you know, two days before we screen, Sunday night screening is going to be a lot of fun. Um, any advice for, uh, for me and all of my friends in my acting class, they would just love to know. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think you guys are so lucky now because so many of your peers are able to pick up a camera like this and go out and shoot and make a great looking film. And the only way that as a filmmaker, the only way you really learn how to make films is grabbing a camera and going to make films. And it's true of acting. The only way you get better is just go and fall on your face and make the mistakes and learn from those mistakes. Jump in, embrace it. Who cares if it sucks? You're going to walk away a better actor. Where'd you like to hang out? Go to cold tea in Kensington, but please don't ruin it. Don't tell the secret. Oh, it's out now. That's fine. We play croquet in Trinity Billwood's Park. No, you don't. Yes, we do. That's so much. Of them getting busted by cops while playing croquet. What will you do? What kind of croquet were you playing? I mean, that's you'd have to look up the An police. Adult report. version. Oh no, my gosh. Uh, I like. Um, the Spoke Club. I, I like patios, especially yeah, like exactly. summertime in Toronto. You're crazy for that. In yeah, man. If it doesn't last long. Enough. No, it doesn't last long enough at all. What's your favorite vibe in the city? Uh, beer Market on the Esplanade. Nice. I love that place. It's where I found out what uh, Fruly Strawberry Beer was. Uh, isn't it the best? It changed my life. And if you mix it with other beer, because it, it's not that very high in alcohol. Yeah, exactly. Shut up, vodka. I think Toronto's really special because you've got that kind of, you've got just like awesome urban vibe, yeah. but then you can find these little nooks of it's sort of floral story. town. Yeah. 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 Every time I come here, my first couple stops are my favorite restaurants. And I am obsessed with Dolce Gelato, which is a gelato spot in Little Italy. And then one of my favorite sushi spots is also on College Street in Little Italy called Sushi Island. And I know that one. You know that one? I, yeah. They so I the there. best all you can eat sushi. And they do the brown rice rolls. I love it. And then they have a bunch of those rolls that you can't get anywhere else because they invented them, right? So are you enjoying the festival? Are you having a good time? You had a pretty cool experience with the cold read the other day, huh? Yeah. How yeah. was that? It was so much fun. And it was a live read and it was a cold read, but um, it was it felt so intimate. How often did you get to talk dirty to Brian Cranston? <laughs> have any favorite restaurants, bars, or hotspots? Sotto Voce in Little Italy, uh, Little Italy. I go there for their, they have this Romana salad that is, it's like a Caesar salad, but with, they don't chop their leaves up and they do this yes, special, yes. yeah, yeah, I love it. Mr. Grenier knows how to keep a lady waiting. He didn't come through our carpet. He went straight into the party because he's 
a smart boy. It's probably what I would do. Go straight to the bar. Um, so we're not going to get to see him. Um, so we are literally going to leave because I am parched. And there's a bar across the road. I'm going to hit it up. Drink some beer. That's it all for now.